Hello everyone, Old Guy Gaming here, back again with another MTG Arena video, and we are into Zendikar Rising, and it is Scoot Week, as far as I'm concerned, on the channel. Um, I'm going to break the, the fourth wall on this one ahead of time. Every deck this week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, are going to feature Scoot Swarm. There is a reason for that, because I genuinely feel that this card is broken, uh, game-breakingly broken. Um, legitimately game-breaking broken, and when I say that, it means it's like literally causing server issues when you play the game um, and when you have instances like that I don't think that Wizards is going to have any other choice but to ban the card uh, it's just ridiculous and, and you'll see that in some of the gameplay that we've got tonight um, over the course of the week um, my ulterior motive of course is I want to have all my fun with Scoot Swarm now because they're going to ban it I, my luck it's going to be the day that you're looking at this video the emergency ban literally a week after the set drops four days after the set drops they're going to ban the card from all the trouble that it's causing on Arena so I might as well have all my fun with it now I may have issues even in some of my warm up games today I've had got the, the warning that tells you to choose another action when you have like 80 things on the stack. And I'm like, I can't choose any other action. Uh, the game can't end in a draw. I don't have any other choice but to have all these triggers fall off. Um, when you have things like that happen, that's usually when um, the MTG Arena dev team either has to fix the card and how it functions on their server or just get rid of the card. Um, so I'm going to have all my fun with Scoot Swarm now, and the version that we're going to be talking today is going to be Mono Green Scoot Swarm. So let's go ahead and take a look at the deck. Look at that. I can't even spell. I just looked at my little spelling here from my deck. This is the Mono Green Scoot Swarm. Okay, so let's talk about the main culprit. I'm sure you've seen him, but if not, here he is. Three, uh, three mana casting costs for a 1-1 one, one with landfall. Whenever a land enters a battlefield, you create a 1-1 one, one insect token. That doesn't sound so bad. It's the second half to this that's actually really bad. Uh, if you control six or more lands, create a copy of Scoot Swarm, which then continues to create all these other things. So in and of itself, the card doesn't sound that bad. You're just creating a whole bunch of 1-1s one and uh, like you're going wide really, really quick. Where it starts to get crazy is when you start mutating things onto Scoot Swarm, because by the rules of mutate... It's now a copy of the creature, and then you start copying the things that have mutated on top of it. It gets really ridiculous. Um, the main one that we're going to be looking at is going to be the Microquery Greenhorn. Um, this is going to allow you to go and get more basic lands from your library and continue the Scoot Swarm <laughs> chain of events that kicks off, and every one of them is going to do it. It's really ridiculous. This is just a genuinely broken combo. All right, so let's. how do we get there? Let's get into some stuff. Gilded Goose to kind of help us ramp up. Uh, we do want to get into the, the, the higher amounts of mana really, relatively quickly. Essence Symbiont is in here. Um, uh, whenever a creature you mutate puts a plus one plus one counter on that creature, you gain two life. Uh, I was finding, especially against like some mana red builds, I was really suffering some early on because it is a mid-range deck, so you really lose a lot of life. But I love the fact that it comes in with a plus one plus one counter, so whenever you're my, um, whenever you're uh, mutating migratory greenhorns, they're actually coming in as four threes for free and you're getting like 20 of them so we'll see how that one works out uh th this one i'm kind of struggling with is where to go with this one uh lotus cobra because it's absolutely fantastic and it basically gives you free mana every time you drop land if you have multiple copies of this you're getting multiple land it's a it's a huge uh, mana ramp for you uh you do need ways of course to go out and get those lands and get them out fast cultivate is the easiest way to do it um there is another one in here which we'll talk about as well um glowstone recluse uh, i toss this in here just because it's a fun card since we're tossing mutate in Whenever this creature mutates, put a plus one, put two plus one plus one counters on it. If you put that on top of the migratory greenhorn, um, uh, what am I thinking? Scoot swarm. Um, that gets really, really ugly, like really ugly, really fast. Um, so it's there. In worst case scenario, it's a nice blocker for reach because occasionally you will get. Um, creatures in the air that you can't necessarily deal with and then when you have a whole swarm of creatures that can handle things in the air that becomes a lot more fun uh gem razor of course gem razor is fantastic uh, i do like the fact that it kills artifacts and enchantments we're seeing a lot of the 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 new one from zendikar rising it's the the uh red one that basically gives you um chandra's emblem it's a little zero one uh, um it's a zero one artifact creature that does dam one damage to you each turn. It attacks. It's ridiculous. It can't block, so you can't really get rid of it. Um, this is a good way to get rid of that. Uh, this also gets rid of the Teferi Tutelage and all the other mill decks that you're going to be seeing out there. So this is actually a must in the deck as well. 
Migration Path is the other one that we're talking about. Uh, search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them into play, put tapped, and then shuffle your library. You can also cycle this one if you need to, um, but I think you're going to be better served by actually going out and getting those lands and kicking off all the landfall triggers. And then last but not least, um, I did not get him in my pack opening if you saw that video on Friday, um, but I did get two of these uh, just for the deck. The Ancient Green Warden, uh, whenever you may play lands from your graveyard, so when you do play those mill decks, you can still continue to play the lands out of them, which is super helpful. And and whenever a land enters a battlefield causes a trigger to a permanent ability you can draw to trigger it does that in additional time that's including scoot swarm for the landfall triggers and all of the other crap that goes along with this deck and then of course if you're going to do it you got to cheat and you got to put fable passages in there so you get one not one but two landfall triggers whenever you do it so this is my mono green version of scoot swarm let me know in the comments down below how you would have done your mono green version of scoot swarm if you've i've earned it and you feel you've enjoyed the content like and subscribe right there it's super helpful for the channel all right <laughs> Let's go play some games. Um, this kind of stuff just absolutely, absolutely makes me giggle. Um, it's clearly one of those things that when they were designing this card, someone said, oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I mean, you're just going to have a whole bunch of one ones. How bad can be? We've had, you know, uh, counters, you know, one one counter spam in Magic for a long, long time. I don't think they took into account what the heck this is going to do. I really don't. This is actually a good curve, because you can actually curve into... Yeah, I'll keep this. I'm also using my Zendikar Rising Full Art Lands. Because those came... Ooh, this looks like it's going to be lifelink. This should actually be interesting. This could be an interesting matchup. And they changed where the modals are, so if you're ever playing me and you see me online and I say nice instead, that's where Hello used to be, and that's just a force of habit. Um, sure, he's going to get the lifelink no matter what. So I prefer not to take the damage. Um, do I want to go cultivate or do I want to go? Yes, let's go here. Let's give him a reason not to do that. We'll get Lotus Cover in next and then we'll start getting all the migration pass and getting all the, the mana down. Oh, look, I've got a blocker for your flyer. How interesting. So we're going to go Lotus Cobra here and we're going to hold. We're not getting the Scoot Swarm. That's a little disappointing. That is a little disappointing. Speaker of the Heavens. Yep. I see where this is going. I see where the deck's going. Um, okay. Didn't read that it had reach. Or he's going for the life bonus, one or the other. Um, so let's go Migration Path first. How does it say that I can pull that off? We're going to go Cultivate first. Drop that, drop that. There's nothing but basics in here. Only going to add the green. Only going to add the green. It's saying that we... Oh, it's doing it for the cycle. That's why. We're going to do the Cultivate again. Drop that into play. Get more mana. So no, all we need now <laughs> is our Scoot Swarm, because we are definitely where we want to be. On cue, my friend. Do some green. We're going to do our migration path. Drop those. And here we go with our triggers. Uh, can I mutate that onto my Scoot Swarm? Uh, I meant to do that in the Scoot Swarm. Oh, well. We'll just start hitting them with oodles of Scoot Swarms here in a second. That's cool. That is cool. Sure. He's got a bunch of angels. I'm going to have a massive amount of Scoot Swarms here in a second. Do I want to kill that? Sure. Yep, I was going to say, you didn't remember doing it the last time that it didn't work? And let's watch all of the landfall triggers. 14 of them come through. Oh my, that is, that's terrifying. So let's, 
Hmm. Where do we want to go from here? I think I can take one more hit. Sure. We're going to wait. I'm not that's unsure. Get more creatures out. Yeah, I see where we're going. Sure. Just you wait, my friend. Just you wait. When 17, 18 landfall triggers kick out? No, you can have that. You you can have that. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You really don't. Cultivate, you say. Oh, no. We're going to do double landfall triggers? And here they come. There's 38 of those. But that wasn't enough. That wasn't nearly enough. Um, let's go. Let's go with more. I think. I think more. More is good. More is good. What more is way good. See how wait. See how this is pausing. So, a hundred and ten scoot swarms and oh, look at the warning I'm getting. I don't have any other options. I can't take any others. A hundred and eight scoot swarms. You say. I think I'm safe to attack with the 17 that I've got into play. I've got more than enough to back those guys up. <laughs> Please tell me he's not doing this individually. I hope he's looking at this going, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, on the next turn, I'm going to have over a hundred of them attack him just for giggles. We're only into 70. We're only into 70 of these. There's still more coming. <laughs> this is even better whenever you have the Great Thorn on there, which we obviously didn't get down um, on this one. Uh, I, I don't know how he survives the next attack, to be perfectly honest with you. So whenever I attack with 100 of these, I don't know how he lives. Because he's got a lot of life gain. I'm not going to lie. I don't know that he's got enough blockers to block 100... <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's ludicrous it's ludicrous how many there are. i can't even tell hold on let's hide it here we've got 15 more to go 135 i'm sitting at keep going keep going sure oh, oh and then i'll take the land because that's a thing um your go good sir 144 scoot swarms are going to come your way this turn um no, I think I'm going to wait. I want to attack with all 163 or whatever it is. I want to attack with all of them. So you have one turn, my good sir, one turn to come up with over 100 life because otherwise. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Okay, that's how he wins. Does he even win? Does he even win? Eight? No, he does not. That's not going to win him the game. That's not enough. Sure. I was going to say, that's not enough, because on my next turn, he's just getting all of them. <laughs> so I almost gave him full credit. I thought he had enough on the, on, on the, like, ah, I get where he was going with, but, <laughs> and just for the record, to make sure we're on the same page, I am clearly playing in the Platinum Leagues at standard rank. See, this is what it does to the servers. I think it's still suffering from some of the other stuff, um, but we are playing in Platinum, I I in standard rank, this is... This deck's no joke. That card's no joke. Um, some of the other combinations that come out, when do you see some of the other decks? I've got a, um, a Gruul combo coming up on Wednesday, and I've got a Simic combo with Uro. It's as dirty as it feels to do. Oh, all we're missing is the Scoot Swarm. Uh, and then I've got a Simic combo in with Uro uh, on Friday. Uh, what a what what a crazy the fact that I just watched 144 triggers go off in arena that tells you something that tells you something's off so I really want to save these for the scoot swarm I really do and there we go I'm almost hitting nice I I know that you're supposed to be able to manage those I'm gonna have to go back in and figure out how to manage those am I gonna get another life gain deck that's kind of weird but okay no, 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 I'm not. 
There's the Scooty. I have one turn. Assuming he doesn't carry direct damage on him. This looks like the Warriors deck. Which is another cool deck. Like, this is the decks I should be doing this week, is all the cool fun decks, like the adventuring decks. No, you can have that. I, I, I'm, I'm good. I, I'm good. You're probably going to shock it anyway. Okay. Come on. Come on. All right, let's see if we one turn to survive. One turn. I just need Scoot Swarm to survive one turn. No tax. Because we've got the Great Horn combo already in hand. We'll drop Fabled Passage. We'll get a couple of triggers off of that. And then we'll start building up. Lord Quash, what are you thinking, my friend? Nahiri, ah, oh, so good. So good. This is this is a total warrior's build. And I feel so bad that <laughs> I feel so bad for what's going to happen next. I'll put it that way. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Fabled Passage in to get the... Sure. If you think I'm attacking, you're dead wrong, good sir. Because what we'll do is we'll put Fabled Passage down to get the Landfall trigger for Lotus Cobra. We will cast Great Horn onto Scoot Swarm, trigger Great... Trigger Fabled Passage... So, so we are going to mutate onto Scoot Swarm. And we also got the Symbiote on top, too. We're going to trigger that. Uh, we're going to pick green. We're going to Fable Passage. Trigger green. Um, sure, let's do that first. Trigger that one more time. And now we're doing copies. There we go. And let's take Nahiri out. As much as I love her. So now we're in a position where we've got the green horn where we want him. We might debate putting Gem Razor on top of the green horn, start getting the combos going, drop the land. I think that's what we'll do next. The one ones here at this point are just fodder. They're blockers as far as I'm concerned. So now my opponent is trying to figure out what to do. Mall of Skyclaves. Again, very cool. Very cool. It's flying. I need my Reach Creature, but that's fine. You don't want to attack with that, though. Oh, I'm going to have to put Gem Razor down. Yep, Gem Razor is going to be the next play. Just so we can get rid of that. Definitely need to get rid of that. So, we are going to mutate Gem Razor onto the Stranglehorn. Kill the Maul of the Claves. Uh, we'll put it over top, sure. Trigger all our triggers, drop that down. Kill Shadow Spear while we're at it. <laughs> yep, he sees what's up. <laughs> he sees what's up. All of those trample creatures coming down. Yeah, every time I mutate it, it's blowing up your artifacts. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I, 
I genuinely, I genuinely feel bad for this one. I will give one more game with this. Uh, I, again, I'm just trying to have my fun with this card before it gets emergency banned. Ooh, we'll even reward you with a pack opening at the end of it for sticking around for this. And the, keep in mind, this is just the mono green version. There are other versions that are worse. I started off on the low level and I am building up to what I consider to be bad. <laughs> uh, Scoot Swarms Galore. I do like the idea of putting uh, Glowstone Recourse on. Yeah, I like that. Having all the Reach creatures, absolutely. We'll see how this goes. If we're not playing Mono Red, we're not playing like Direct Damage, we might be able to get... Well, oh, we're going to play Adventures. Adventures can be problematic. Um, strictly for the Brazen Barrows. That is not... Team or Adventures. Sure. Oh my goodness. Tell me we're not going to get any lands, any additional lands. We're really far behind on this one. A Lotus Cobra would have been nice. We could have gotten Scoot Swarm out on this turn. No, there's the Lucky Clover, so we're going to get all of our adventures. This does mean that he most likely has um, a Murderous Rider in the, in the deck. Oh, goodness. Can't believe we have to burn this. Uh, no, we're going to hold. There's a lot of land in this deck. For us to get, like, mana hosed like this is actually kind of just desserts. Maybe that's what MTG Arena is trying to say. Like, hey, you can't do that. I'm actually debating um, cycling. Let's cycle this. If we don't get the land anywhere, we're kind of screwed, which we got. We're good. Okay, so we are going to go with our Scoot Swarm. Get our landfall triggered down. All right, so at least we've got some blockers now. The downside to this is he doesn't have a lot on the table as far as heavy damage. I'm still convinced that he has Murderous Rider in the deck, um, which is where having multiple Scoot Swarms is going to be useful. Questing Beast. Interesting. Yeah, no, this is a straight up... I mean, it's got adventures, but it doesn't have a lot of adventures. Um, why? Why, good sir, would you do that? Uh, because I wasn't paying attention. That's why. Because I should have blocked Questing Beast instead. All right, I think I've proven my point. Uh, I think you can see what the deck does. Let me know in the comments down below how you would do your Mono Green Scoot Swarm, as long as it's legal and standard. Uh, and we shall see you next time in the next video, guys. I screwed up my ending, and I'm going to leave that in for you if you stuck around. Oh, wait. Plus, I told you I was going to open a pack for you. I'm ha this that's It's this deck. This, this deck is just insane to me, and it's just thrown me off my game completely. So as soon as the servers catch up, there they are. All right, let's open that pack and see what we got. And it's not going to be Scoot Swarm, I can tell you that. <sighs> Ooh, very nice, very nice. All right, all right, now I'll do more at one. Do hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below how you would do your mono green Scoot Swarm deck. And until next time, guys, we shall see you in the arena. This video was brought to you in no small part by our patrons. If you would like to help out the channel, go to www.patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga. And thank you for your support.